This documentary is about the Edenton Tea Party of 1774. The Edenton Tea Party was one of the ten historical tea parties of the original 13 colonies. Many people remember the Boston Tea Party of 1773. However, there is little mention of the other nine protest tea parties that happened thereafter. Cities like York, Maine, New York City, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Chesterfield and Annapolis, Maryland, Charleston, South Carolina, Princeton, New Jersey, and Greenwich, North Carolina. They all refused shipment of tea from the British East India Company. But there was also a protest held in a small waterfront town called Edenton, located in eastern North Carolina. The protest held there is known as the Edenton Tea Party. This protest was significant because it was a movement organized by women in response to the Tea Act of 1773. The Tea Act was meant to help the failing British East India Company by decreasing their tariff and allowing them to sell their tea directly to the American colonies, thereby securing an unfair market for their tea. At the time, the colonists were purchasing their tea from other sources, including buying smuggled tea. In response to the Tea Act, which the colonists interpreted as the British imposing more tax and control on the American colonies, the provincial deputies of North Carolina decided to boycott all British tea and cloth received after September 10, 1774. In support of this decision, the women of Edenton showed their opposition by a public proclamation. The women of Edenton made a stand by organizing a women's group and signed an agreement saying they were, and I quote, determined to give memorable of their patriotism. They felt it was their duty to stand by their husbands, family, and the rest of the colonies by protesting against the Tea Act of 1773. 51 women participated in the Edenton Tea Party, organized by Mrs. Penelope Barker at the home of Mrs. Elizabeth King on October 25, 1774. Of course, it wasn't really a tea party. Instead, it was a political activity unlike any other before it. Until then, only men engaged in politics privately or publicly. In 1774, women in Europe or the New World did not engage in political discussions. Interestingly enough, even the Tea Party men dressed up as Indians to avoid arrest, as they protested the Tea Act by dumping 90,000 pounds of tea into the Boston Harbor on December 16, 1773. This is Penelope Barker, and at the age of 27, she married Thomas Barker, and this was their home. And Thomas was our agent for North Carolina, and he spent most of his time after they married in uh, Britain, in London. And he was a part of the parliament there, representing North Carolina as a was, state. He, when he was home, it was here in their living room that people used to come in, and they would come in from the colonies, and they were pretty upset because there had been a stamp tax levied by King George III, and they were upset by that, and then all of a sudden comes the tea tax. Well, who got upset about that were the ladies of Eden. So Miss Penelope, at 29 years old, uh, gathered 51 women, and they were pretty upset with Britain. So they did three things. First of all, 
They stop the ships from coming in with any of their imports and or exports. Second of all, they went into Eaton Bay and gathered, the women gathered all their precious tea. Now tea at that time, back in 1774, was very expensive. But they dumped their tea in Eatonton Bay. And in dumping their tea, they were inspired by Boston. The Boston Tea Party was 1773. But there had been 10 tea parties through all the colonies because they were very upset. Miss Penelope did the ladies' tea party. 51 women, which was very, very unusual. And then they signed Sorry. the resolution. Is this um, framing of the resolution? And some of the consequences were that the men out of the other ten tea, uh, nine tea parties could not, um, could not, did not sign their names. They hid because they knew they would have been punished severely. But the women dared to put their names here. All fifty-one are located here, and now as a part of our Edenton tour. Uh, their homes are quite significant because women never voiced. Uh, it was a man, a men's voice in that day. And now in your world today, it's both men and women that are very involved, even young people involved in politics. And so did they get hurt? No. But their husband said, do not sign the resolution or King George III will come after you. Well, he didn't, but he was a little disappointed. And he got a little upset with the women. Penelope Barker's proclamation was published in London newspapers, subsequently causing negative reactions. There is a famous satirical political cartoon published in March 1775. In this illustration called The Society of Patriotic Ladies, the 51 women were ridiculed. On closer inspection, there is a baby sitting on the floor, and the dog is pulling on his ear, implying that women should pay more attention to their responsibilities at home. Also note the dog is urinating on a tea box. And the implications of the tea party were the people here who were colonists taking a stand. Not only taking a stand, but voicing an opinion. The Tea Act was never repealed, but two years later, the Revolutionary War would begin. Future political acts by women would eventually follow. Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony fought for women's suffrage in 1869. Jeanette Rankin was the first woman ever elected to Congress in 1916. Frances Perkins was the first woman cabinet member in the U.S. She served as FDR's Secretary of Labor from 1933 through 1945. Shirley Chisholm, a Democrat, she was the first black woman elected to Congress in 1968, also the first black woman to run for president in a major party in 1972. Geraldine Ferraro, the first known woman to run for vice president in 1984. Hillary Clinton, first woman to be nominated by a major party to run for president in 2016. Clearly the women of the Edenton Tea Party opened the political door for future women by making a stand for their freedom.